Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button and welcome to the channel. Uh, this week's video is going to show you how to remove um, the front exhaust manifold, the catalytic converter and the front flexi pipe. The process took a long time so I've shortened it down to 20 minutes of keeping as much detail in as I can. It's going to be done over three or four videos because you've got the front to remove, the back to remove and then installing all the new gear. Um, so I've tried to keep them as short and sweet as simple as I can, keeping the details in so you know what to do and so you can follow the process. Um, so I'm going to crack on with it. So I'm not going to waste any more time. So like I say, if you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. And if you're returning, great, cheers for, for, for joining us again. Let's crack on with this one. Okay, so to do this, disconnect the earth first, remove this 8mm bolt here, this one here, and this one just here, and pull the coil pack out of the way. Just to get up out of the way like that. So I'm gonna loosen this bar off. There's a 10 mil here and a 13 mil just down here. That I mean I can get a bar behind it and just give this a little bit more pull out of the way so I can just get a little bit more access. And what it does it just move, means you can move this bar. So what it does it means you can just move this bar. Just a bit more access. You pull this forwards, it gives you a bit more access to remove the studs when you've undone them. Okay, so the way I'm doing this, and I'm going to remove the front flexi first by these two 70mm bolts here and here. And then I'm going to remove the 15 at the top that's holding it up to the engine bay, the cat, and drop it down from that way. So let me start by undoing the flexi pipe to the exhaust. So say there's 17 mils. Make sure I find the right. There we go. Thank you. 
So now we're going to remove this bolt here. It's a 15 on it if I remember rightly. Undo it from here. And then we're going to get this front flexi pipe out of the way. As you can see, it doesn't need replacing. So, with this one, you need a deep 15 on an extension. Crack it off. Okay. I'm going to put that bolt back on there. As you can see, then the front flexi pot actually slid out of the way. So that means what we'll do is undo this one and push it out of the way. So again, another 15. Flexi down, knocking the camera over at the same time. Okay, so we're going to undo these two 10mm bolts on the bracket. Then we're going to go up top and undo the three 30mm bolts, and that should lower the cat, the cat out of the way. A bit of penetrant fluid. So up over here, you've got a blue clip, that's your O2 sensor, so you disconnect that. Okay, and there's one on top as well, we're going to go up there now. Okay, so there's one 30mm bolt, there's another one down there. And if you come over to the other side, there's another one. It's just down here. Okay, literally just there. There's the O2 sensor, the Lambda sensor, so you can unplug it from this green one here. So, so now, oh, so now I'm going to remove that bolt there, this one there, and the one on the side here. I'm going to start with the one up top. This is why now you can see I've removed this bar, just the two bolts at the side, because it gives you a little bit more access to get to that one. One. I'll get this one off now. So I'm going to crack them off. Okay, so I've got them cracked off. If you've got a friend, would help because they can support you from underneath while you undo the top bolt. Same on the other three. So 
want to know if I'm going to get underneath it and show you from underneath. That bolt there is only trying to undo. So if you had a friend, you'd have someone down here with a 30mm underneath and you could undo it from the top. But that one's going to be a bit awkward. But I'll show you how to get to that. I'm going to crack on get this one out and then get to the last one. I don't know if you can see this on camera. But I'm going to put one end up over the top. Like that. And one end under here. And I'm going to undo the last bolt with the ratchet. There you go. Another bolt out. So there's now just one more to get, and that's the one at the back. Alright, so for the back bolt, as you can see, what I've done is I put the 30mm socket on top, the ratchet, and I've got it wedged under here so it won't move. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 30mm socket, uh, ratchet spanner sorry or a socket underneath to undo it gently okay so the last bolt actually is up there the back so what I've decided to do get your ratchet spanner tuck it underneath around the back of your oil filter and you're, you're basically feeling for it blind but you find it And hopefully with the way the ratchet's waist at the top that should be undoing very slowly. But it should be undoing. But like I say, if you had a friend, you could sit here, hold that on there like that, and they can undo it from the top. So that'd be an easy way of doing it. So I'm going to get this off. You've seen you can do it on your own. Very fiddly, but I'm going to try. Okay, so with the cat out, you need to now remove the manifold itself. So there's one stud. Body oil dipstick. There's six in total, and that's the first one. The other two are here and here. This one has already come out. Came out like this, the stud and the bolt attached. So what I've done is I've ordered some more studs, some more bolts. Everything I use is in the description. You can get it, all the same stuff as I've used. All right, so you can just see there, the thirty mil. So the thirty mil deep socket. I'm slacking these off because I've used a bit of penetrating fluid to help. That does help a couple of days before you do it. Put some penetrating fluid all over them, just keep smothering them. When these start getting easier to come off, like this, you can you feel it's getting looser. Let me out of the way. See with your hand. See if you can undo it anymore. If not, get um I've actually got a little five mil. Let's get the focus on the camera. And that, uh, Taking my gloves off as well because I was getting so sweaty. I 
Okay, so I've removed the I've moved the camera for a sec, just so I can actually get this one out. I've got the last top one here to get. And a 13 mm socket, deep socket over the bolt. That's the top three out. Top three are out, one, two, three. So I'm gonna crack on with the bottom ones. Okay, so I feel a lot of faffing about getting this out on my own. I'll let you know, it's probably easier for you just to get a friend for five minutes to undo these bolts. But then to get the manifold itself out, you've got one bolt here, which is a 13 mil. And then if you come over the other side, just beyond the oil filter. One there, and one there. And there, what you need to get out. I'll be able to lower that down from the top, like lower it down to the bottom of the car. That's what I'm hoping. That's the plans. Okay, so I'm aiming for this bolt here. Small extension. Let's see what happens. Same as the last ones. All loosened up with penetrate fluid. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just, so you ain't got to sit there and watch me go through the whole painful thing. I'm not even going to bother speeding this up. Um, you've seen where the bolts are and how to locate them and like how to get to them. Uh, I'm going to do these last three off camera and then when, I come, when it comes to lowering the actual manifold out, I'm going to get the camera back on and show you. Okay, so let's um, flip over now. Like I said, it did just slide down from the top. There's the old gasket. Get it off. And that's where the new one's gonna go. Wow. Look at that hair. Right, you'll be pleased to know guys. After a lot of swearing and a lot of cussing, the old manifold is off. Now I'm gonna show you what this one, the old one looks like compared to the new one I'm putting in. That's the old one. I've got to take the O2 sensor off. And there's the new one. It's uh, stainless steel, so it won't end up looking like that. It's a lot lighter. Um, meant to help the engine breathe better. Being bigger bores and stuff or whatever. We'll find out when it's on. So I'm going to put it back on now. 